Three Sinking Cities One sinking city is New Orleans, Louisiana, which is located in the United States. The city was originally much smaller and built on naturally higher ground. Everything else surrounding this area was marshland and swamps. Eventually, people figured out how to drain the marshes and swamps, and in the process, sank the city. This was a common practice. According to NASA, the area of New Orleans that sits next to the Mississippi River is sinking at about two inches per year. East of the city, the last line of defense against spring floods, the land sinks about 1.6 inches per year. NASA estimates that at this rate, New Orleans will be fully underwater by the year 2100. Jakarta, like New Orleans, is a city that was built on top of swamplands and has 13 rivers flowing through it. Experts at the Bandung Institute of Technology estimate that by the year 2050, 95% of the city will be underwater. Right now, the city sinks about half an inch to six inches per year. Already, half the city sits below sea level. People who live there experience damage to their houses due to shifting land and worsening floods every rainy season. Finally, the last city that is at risk of flooding and submerging is San Rafael, California. Built on marshland, one bad storm could flood it. The canal neighborhood sits just three feet above sea level, with the bay water projected to rise to 4.5 feet in 2100. Doing nothing now means facing a housing crisis in the future. Aside from the displacement of residents, infrastructure such as roads and highways could also be damaged in the next bad storm. Many cities all over the U.S. and the world face the problem of subsidence and sea levels rising. What can be done to solve this problem?